My next guest became the biggest viral sensation in history when she shared a Facebook Live video of her joy over a birthday gift that she bought herself, a Chewbacca mask. Now watch when my mouth actually moves. <laughs> <laughs> and she's not just Chewbacca mom, she's also a speaker, an author, and a joy evangelist, which I love that term. She's also distinguished by the fact that she graduated from the same alma mater as me, Washita Baptist University in Arkansas, albeit a generation later. Her new book is called Simple Joys. Please welcome Candace Payne. Candace, so nice to have you here. I got to tell you, when I first saw that, and it was before I even knew that you had been a Washita student, I just thought it was one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. I found myself laughing out loud. Yeah. And so did the rest of the world. Well, it's really highbrow comedy. You know, I mean, it's a four minute video and three minutes are laughing. It's so classy. But were you always <laughs> funny or was this just one of those spontaneous moments in which you just said, I'm gonna do something just because I want to? Oh, it was definitely just because I want to. I was literally thinking, I've got 30 minutes till I have to act like an adult and pick up my kids from school. And I'm gonna play for those 30 minutes and go live for some of my mom friends that might be in a carpool lane somewhere. I had no anticipation that that video would go as viral as it went. I mean, like what, 160 million views or more? Um, I mean, right now it's 174 million on Facebook and collectively throughout the internet, it's over 200 million. 200 million. Do you realize with that many votes you would be president of any country on earth? <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I don't hold that <laughs> responsibility. It ain't what it's cracked up to be. Uh, <laughs> I mean, did, you could not have imagined sitting out there in the school parking lot that day that this would turn into the opportunity to write books and to speak all over the world and, and to bring joy to people. You know, I think the common denominator in the messages I received following the days were a lot of people saying, I forgot how to laugh like that. Hmm. I forgot what it was like to feel that kind of joy. How do you do it? And it was a moment that I feel like kind of God ordained. Yeah. And so of course I couldn't foresee it, but boy, I saw that it was his hand and I walked through every open door after it. And I still do. You let go in a way that sort of was reckless abandon to mm. laughter. And it changed some people's attitudes about joy. It was a moment, it was a sound around the world that said, we can laugh again. And ultimately we can hope again. You call yourself a joy evangelist, which I think is one of the coolest terms ever. And you're in the midst of, of a tour with uh, one of the most amazing singers, Mandisa, who I adore. I love her. Uh, so tell us about the, uh, the, the tour that you're engaged in right now. Well, that just sounds so silly to think that a lady with a Chewbacca mask is gonna be on a music <laughs> tour. But I actually have been a worship leader since I was 14. Mm. So I'm going to be singing, I'm going to be hosting and emceeing the entire event, and I'm also gonna to get to speak for a little bit on the topic of joy and really what it's like to host joy when it comes in the room, to mm. be a good host for when joy enters and you've gotta lift up your eyes and say, I see you're here, I'm gonna engage you. Do you still have the mask? I do, yeah. I do. It's not on the wall in my bedroom because it freaked out my husband. And um, so we had to take it Wonder down. Why. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that day when your kids get in the, got in the car, did you say, hey, look what mom got? Did you do it then for them? Or? I did, yeah. and they were not impressed. They weren't. No, no, your kids are the worst critics ever. Well, that's a good point. Yeah. That, that's very true. I, I want you to know the book, uh, Simple Joys, I read the whole thing. The yeah. good thing about it, it's, it's a fun book. It yeah. really is. And even though I'm a guy, I think this probably may be written perhaps for women more, but it's, it's a fun book and it's an easy read. And it's, it, it's a reminder mm. that there ought to be some humor in life. And, and the Proverbs say that a merry heart doeth good like a medicine. It does. It's the best medicine we can have. This is really good medicine right here. So it's, Absolutely. it's a lot less expensive than some of the prescriptions that I've had to be Absolutely. taking. One of the things I love about it is that I challenge people to prospect for joy. Mm. Be on the hunt as though it is gold that you have to unearth. And the moment that you find it, keep it and its value close and dear to you. I don't know of anybody 
who has not just fallen in love oh, with Candace Payne. Thank you. You have given the world, uh, like the old thing, give the world, you know, a Coke. Uh, you've given us a joy and a laughter, and we need it. I hope people will get the book, Simple Joys. Get your copy at booksellers all over the place. You can also order from her website, CandacePayne.me. That's CandacePayne.me. We also talked about the Girls' Night Live Tour with Grammy-winning Christian musical artist Mandisa. That address again for all the details, CandacePayne.me.